Hey everyone, I'm back. It's Tasha Keeney here to talk more about autonomous technology. My next big idea is autonomous logistics. So we already talked about autonomous ride hill. Now I'm gonna get into the logistics ecosystem. Um, we're gonna focus on a, a few special form factors that we've analyzed, mainly trucks, uh, rolling robots. Those are ro robots that go in integrated traffic as opposed to a sidewalk robot um, and delivery drones. Uh, so first I'll say, you know, we expect a lot of form factor prolific proliferation with autonomous electric vehicles to happen in the future. I think there'll be many more types of vehicles that are custom built for specific applications, but we focused on these three today. Um, and all in all, we expect that autonomous logistics could scale from zero dollars in revenue today um, to about 900 billion in 2030 over the next 10 years. Let's see why. So um, similar to ride hail, we expect autonomous logistics vehicles to offer um, dramatic cost reductions to today's human in the loop systems. Starting with autonomous trucks all the way on the left, um, the ton mile, the, the price per ton mile that an autonomous electric truck um, could deliver goods for is about three cents per ton mile, according to our analysis. Um, this is less than half of the cost of a human driven diesel truck you know, I'll quickly note that this human driven diesel truck, they can actually be a lot more expensive because the long tail of trucking um, is very long. Uh, there's many, you know, private truckers out there. So you should think of this as actually a pretty efficient truck um, that sits in, uh, you know, maybe a, a, a broader fleet. Um, but, you know, at this point, three cents per ton mile, um, it actually could take share from other types of freight transport, which I'll get to in a minute. Moving on to rolling robots, this is the local batch delivery cost that you see here. This is on a per trip basis. So in this scenario picture, um, you're getting groceries delivered from the grocery store as opposed to you driving to the store yourself. You know, so back to turning uh, previously unaccounted for economic activity into real um, GDP uh, contributing dollars. Uh, you know, you could spend about $2.40 driving yourself to the grocery store. Um, to pick up those groceries, or you could um, pay about 40 cents to get them delivered to your house. A lot cheaper, more convenient, saves you time. Um, and more likely, you'll see that this 40 cents will be integrated in the price of whatever you're paying for. So it'll appear like it's free delivery. This could totally change how we live our lives and how we shop. Similarly, drones, we think um, an autonomous drone could deliver packages for about 25 cents per trip. Uh, this is dramatically lower than what you would pay for, say, an app delivery service today at about five to six dollars per trip. So it's a 20 over a 20 X cost reduction. So the interesting thing to look at here is that as the vehicle gets smaller, we're actually seeing the cost reductions compared to the, the human in the loop systems um, getting dramatically larger. So, that you know, the smaller vehicles are, are much bigger levers in, in lowering cost. Um, compared to today's human driven systems. Um, so this could also have an effect on, uh, you know, what we see as the future logistics landscape, um, how things get shipped. Um, maybe you choose to ship things in smaller quantities when possible, certainly for consumers. So diving in on autonomous trucks, you know, I mentioned that we expect the price per ton mile to be about three cents. Um, most importantly, the thing to look at on this chart is that that will be cheaper than rail. The price per ton mile of rail is about four cents. Um, and trucks and rail are roughly tied for ton mileage in the US today. Um, so you could picture that, uh, you know, anything that is intermodal, um, that, you know, uses the rail system, but then another form of transport to get to its final destination. Well, it might be a lot simpler and less expensive to use an autonomous electric truck to transport those goods. Um, so this, this means that autonomous EV trucks could take share, a pretty significant share, um, if you think about it, from rail in the future. Um, the other two things to look at on this graph, of course, you know, air transport um, is much more expensive. Uh, barges will likely be cheaper. Um, these likely have you know, other types of goods um, running over uh, the, these specific modes of network. Um, but, uh, you know, autonomous trucks and rail, um, I, I think that um, 
you know, the, let's say the assets tied to rail networks and the rail operating, the rail operators themselves uh, should look out for this transition as it happens. Moving on to rolling robots. Um, okay, if we, we use this example of grocery delivery, um, right now we spend about $70 billion on grocery delivery in the US. Of that, about 40 billion is unpaid wages. So again, you don't get paid to drive yourself to the grocery store, um, but you could pay for uh, autonomous robotic grocery, grocery delivery save yourself time and money, and this would be you know, a service that might show up in the GDP accounts. Um, other costs that we spend on grocery delivery, well, there's about $6 billion of gas, $20 billion of other driving costs in addition to those unpaid wages. Um, and so you can imagine that if we were to shift all of uh, grocery pickup um, to robotic delivery, this could be the equivalent of taking about 4 million gas powered cars off the road. Again, we expect all autonomous vehicles to be electric machines. So this could have you know, pretty substantial um, environmental societal impact here. So the opportunity that we see for robot grocery delivery in the US is about $4 billion. Um, I say that's the opportunity today because that's assuming that the number of trips that we take per week which is about 1.6 on average in the US, stays the same. So you only go to the grocery store one to two times per week. And if, if you switch that all to robot delivery, that's a $4 billion opportunity. But what we could see happen is um, consumer shopping ha habits could totally change. So if you, you know, once you get robot delivery and it's very cheap, very convenient, why are you only going to the store once per week? Why not five times per week? Why not every time you make dinner, you want a robot to bring the, the fresh produce back to you? Um, so that's what we're looking at here as the $12 billion opportunity all the way on the right. Um, so this would be if um, consumers start ordering groceries about five times per week. Um, also notably, you could picture that this could totally change um, the makeup of our houses. You know, why would you need a big pantry if you're getting a robot to deliver you groceries every day and you're not storing as much food? Um, so not only will this, uh, this, these innovations deliver more money um, or, or keep more money in consumers' pockets, um, they'll be really convenient, but they could also change, you know, how we live, how we spend our, spend our days really every day. And lastly, drone delivery. Um, here we're going to look at two examples. This is parcel delivery and food delivery. Um, so for parcels, well, in 2020, e-commerce as a percent of retail was about 18% globally. We think that could go to about 60% by 2030. And drones could deliver a pretty meaningful portion of e-commerce. So about 40% of total retail could be um, delivered by drone. Uh, and again, this is something where you could picture, you know, say you, um, you know, you forgot a toothbrush and you're, you're going to the, the drugstore to get it, or instead in the future, you're getting an autonomous drone to deliver to you. Um, it could really change how we live our daily lives. Um, with food delivery, um, you can picture this as meal delivery. Uh, right now, food delivery is about 2% of global total food spend. We think that could go to about 40% by 2030. And here, we think that drones could actually have a meaningful share gain for food delivery as a percentage of total food spend. In other words, it's really driving what we see here is that 40%. Um, we think drones could make food delivery so convenient um, that you can imagine, for instance, in uh, you know the suburbs, say you have you know X many restaurants that deliver to you today, um, there's probably a portion of restaurants or, or you know, uh, food service operators that can't economically deliver to you. Um, but with the advent of drones, maybe they can. Um, so particularly, you know, we think autonomous ride hail will be really meaningful for urban dwellers. It'll be the dominant form of urban transport. Drones could be more meaningful uh, for people that live in the suburbs. And again, they could totally change our shopping habits. Okay, so to, to sum this all up, um, we think that autonomous logistic revenues 
uh, again, could scale to about $900 billion in 2030. Um, you know, the most meaningful piece of that is autonomous trucks. Um, we think that if autonomous trucks take share from a meaningful share from rail um, and take over a meaningful part of what goes over today's road networks, um, that could go to about a $390 billion opportunity in 2026, scaling to about $690 billion in 2030. Um, so that's the, the biggest chunk of the pie here. Um, and then uh, parcel drones and food drones, those could each have about $100 billion in revenue globally by 2030. Um, one thing I'll point out is you don't see rolling robots on this chart. Um, that's some new research from us. Uh, we're looking to scale it up globally. Right now, we've looked mainly at the U.S. market, although we do see players like Meituan and others using rolling robots to deliver goods in China. We think this will be uh, meaningful on a, on a global scale. So look out from that for that research from us. Um, so I'll, I'll leave you here with that today. So at autonomous technology can change um, consumers' lives. Um, it could also make uh, delivery much less expensive for businesses. And it could totally change how we get around and how we get our things. Thank you.